Hey, how's it going, everybody? Mr. Deadman of the Dead Man's Tone Podcast. And ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you guys a question. And depending on where you are on the globe or in America, we're going to get a different response. Do you think we should open up? Do you think the country should open back up? Do you think countries should open back up? Lift these restrictions and let people live. Let people go back to work, make money, provide for their family. Do you think that should happen? Or do you think we should all just stay indoors for how fucking long? Because we, could, we can't put life on pause. We can't put life on hold. It doesn't work like that at all. We're in this crazy situation where there's people afraid of the spread of this virus, which, by the way, a lot of places still in the U.S. haven't really seen this surge. Maybe it has yet to happen. I don't know. But while we're waiting, dicking around, nothing to do. We're not making any money. Some of us are. Some of us still have jobs. Some are just like extremely bored for no no reason. Staying inside. Some other areas they don't have they don't have employment. They lost their job, so now not only are they bored staying inside, they don't have any money. <laughs> then you have the increase of domestic violence because you're staying inside quite a bit. It's hard to get out. Domestic violence on the rise. You got crime on the rise. You got murder on the rise. You got, you got some really bad shit on the rise. You also have a lack of police response. Not that the police aren't responding, but it's like, what are the police going to do? You can't throw people in prison. Not really. You're not locking them up because you're releasing them. <laughs> this whole thing. It is a crazy situation, right? It's a recipe for disaster. How long do we keep it like this? My opinion, you may not like it, but I have an opinion. My opinion is that we open back up. Sure, we do it gradually. Do it gradually, open back up. Okay, if there's a surge, there's a surge, okay. There's an increase in infections, okay. But you know what? There's death and misery. No matter which way you look. However, some people uh, are on the other side. I mean, some of you might be on that side as well. Well, well, I might disagree and think it's kind of dumb. There's some saying that we should not lift restrictions. In fact, we should still stay indoors. I'm looking at an article here that talks about that. That if we re if we release these restrictions, if we lift them. 300,000 are likely to die. Oh, that's that's grim. That is grim. But is that even accurate? That's based on a model. Okay. A prediction. I don't know about you, but I have heard many, 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 many predictions that have not turned out to be even close to the truth. 2016. Trump is not going to win. Hillary has it in the bag. Trump won. Um, and some others. Oh, uh, any sort of weather report, any sort of like hurricane uh, forecast, any sort, any any of those things. It turns out opposite, or it turns out completely different than what was planned. Um, predictions about World War Three when we had, we had tensions rise between us and Iran. Nope, nope, not even close, not even close. Hmm. We're told things based on these models, based on what could happen. Okay, so we live in fear based on what could happen. And we stay inside. We stop our lives, stop our livelihood because of what could happen. Instead of living in the now, living in the moment and seeing what's actually happening. Now in this article, of course, talks about this. Uh, what they go want to talk about here is a third paragraph. By the way, the author, the reporter, Liz Esley White. Come on, a Y for an I? What is this? Is that an artistic choice or is that really her last name? I, I, I'm curious about that. Anyway, 
She goes into saying on the third par paragraph, while the White House Coronavirus Task Force has cited other models created by or created at academic institutions. Yeah, let's not name the institutions. Let's just vaguely say academic institutions and not even link it. Not even link it. Uh, the federal government has not made public its own modeling efforts. Well, hold the phone there, princess. The federal government has doesn't need to do its own modeling effort effort if it's getting information, getting models from other universities, other places that they deem reliable. Like the federal government isn't going to do its own models, right? They're not a bunch of scientists, whatever. The federal government's a bunch of uh, politicians. <laughs> like, why would I trust a bunch of lawyers handling a model? Why would I do that? Hmm. Anyway, the uh, the document paints the fullest picture yet of the assumptions underpinning the government's. Okay, it goes on saying here in the fourth paragraph, the Trump administration is laying out plans to for how to reopen America's economy, which is good. We should be striving for that. We still have to live, guys. The world's not over. The end is in here. Um, and protesters are parading near the state capitol building to demand that it happen swiftly. Good for them, exercising their their constitutional rights. They should be doing that. And they're doing it with some are saying six feet apart, some are wearing masks, some aren't wearing masks. Who cares if they're wearing masks or not? Do you, do you really care? Do you, for those that care, do you really want to live under a government that forces you to wear a mask? Is that what you want? Okay. All right. Sounds like you guys really want a dictator. Sounds like the the same ones that complain about people not wearing masks and not staying indoors were the ones that complained that Trump was going to literally be Hitler. But Trump is not literally Hitler. He's not even doing anything that's like like forcing people to stay indoors, being draconian of anything. If anything, he, he supports people going out and exercising their constitutional rights. Good. It's like, I don't know, it's like there's some American values there. Jesus. Uh, anyway, I like what she says here. But while overestimating the threat of the virus could cause unnecessary job losses, underestimating it could means more lives lost. Uh, wrong there, princess. Let's go and back this sentence up. I like how she really emphasizes that if we underestimate this virus, guys, more people are going to die, but she doesn't point out death. She doesn't point out the laws, uh, the lives lost if we overestimate the virus. See, there's loss of lives and misery on both sides. You could try to say one has more. Like how? What? Based on what? Because while we stay indoors, while we stay locked in, while people are unemployed, while people can't move around, while people and prisoners are being released, murderers are being released, rapists are being released, people who don't have any regard for your safety are being released. This creates a situation where you see it, where murders on the rise, assaults on the rise, domestic violence on the rise, poverty's on the rise. And with poverty, Poverty has a mortality rate of, of its own, about as up to like what 6%. I'm not even making that up. That's numbers based on models. Not really models, but based on collecting data that has been uh, provided to them, right? Not forecasting the data, but stuff that's already happened. So not a model, but stuff that has happened. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of misery and loss of lives that could happen if you just overestimate this virus. We have to try to reopen. We have to try. We can't just sit around and do nothing. But where do you stand? Where do you stand on this? You for it? I'm gonna lift the restrictions? Or you say, no, man, we gotta stay inside all day. Man, we gotta stay in. We gotta, we gotta get more of those uh, stimulus checks. 
Let's have them print more money, give us money. And I just want to Netflix and chill all day, every day. Sounds like you want to be a bum. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Sounds like you want to deadbeat and do nothing. If that's what you want in life, good for you, I guess. There's no honor in that, though. A lot of us still want to work. And believe it or not, while some might hate their jobs, a lot of people hate their jobs, but there is there is a sort of satisfaction you get from the work, depending on what it is, right? At least it's something. At least you're doing something. <sighs> I'm going to end this here. But yeah, what do you guys think? Anyway, I'll take it easy. I hope you're staying safe. Yeah, have a good one.